In Russia's Rostov-on-Don, mourners continue to lay flowers in memory of the victims of Flight 981. The Fly Dubai airliner crashed at the city's airport early Saturday morning during a second landing attempt. All 62 people on board, 55 passengers and 7 crew lost their lives. Bad weather conditions are being blamed for the tragedy, although pilot error is also being looked into, according to local authorities. Both of the plane's flight recorders have been recovered undamaged, says the investigative committee. In spite of the harsh weather conditions, the examination of the accident site continues. During this process, the remains of bodies are being taken to be forwarded for identification through forensic and genetic tests. Two flight recorders have also been discovered during the site examination, a voice recorder and a parametric recorder. They have also been forwarded to specialists for deciphering. The investigation is currently looking into two main versions for the plane crash, a mistake by the pilot due to the harsh weather conditions or a malfunction in the plane. Among those on board, 44 were Russian, two were Indian nationals, one was Uzbek and eight were Ukrainian. In the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, President Petro Poroshenko extended his condolences to the crash victims and held a moment of silence. A Boeing 737 passenger jet operated by Fly Dubai. This morning crashed and landing on Rostov, Russian Federation, right near our border. And all 62 people on board were killed. And among these 62 people, we have eight Ukrainians. And let us mourn the memory of those perished with a moment of silence. At Fly Dubai headquarters, meanwhile, the company states it has no information to indicate the pilot issued a distress call. It confirms both the pilot and co-pilot each had over 5,000 hours of flight experience. The CEO says it is too soon to say what happened. So from, uh, from our point of view, uh, there could be any various of these things. Of course, we will know by, uh, by the time the investigation finishes. As far as we know, the airport was open and uh, we were good to, to operate. Uh, that's what we know now. What was the weather exactly? How, how did that affect mm -hmm. uh, uh, this unfortunate accident? It's too early to tell. On behalf of everyone at Fly Dubai, I would like to express the devastation we all feel in relation to this morning tragic event in Rostov on Don. The crash is the budget airline's first since it started flying in May 2009. It last suffered a major safety incident when one of its planes was shot at while landing at Baghdad airport in January last year.